A new secret update dropped in Brookhaven. You guys can see huh? that the thumbnail of the game has changed. It's because there's a lot of new secret stuff in the game. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys some stuff that other YouTubers didn't touch on. Things that I'm sure you didn't know. But before that, I challenge you to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with your pinky finger. If you did that, write potato in the comments below. Wait a minute. What's going on here? This looks just like me. But he's more of a farmer nando than anything oh shoot i got a notification that there's a fire going on at club brooks so i got my fire extinguisher for us to deal with this so let's get all that stuff out put out all this fire and don't worry i'll soon tell you what was added in the update let me just do this first it's very important to keep brookhaven safe if we don't do that then we'll just not have a brookhaven in the future so guys the latest thing in this update has got to be the new vehicles added which are two new ones for us to use like this tractor right here yes we now have tractors in the game. So we can drive around the place with our tractor. It even spills out smoke from the exhaust pipe. The Brookhaven devs did a good job with this one. It looks really good. For sure an awesome addition. There's even a button that we can click. And as we do it will make the bucket rise. So that part actually works. We just have to test out if it can move things as well. For us to do that, let's go to the farm in the countryside to see if this tractor works. I do realize that even though it's cool, this tractor is really slow. Let's get it as fast as we can then. I'll even get some turbo that I actually didn't think it would have. Our turbo is ready, but there's this guy pushing us. Stop that! Out of nowhere, this guy is trying to crash into me. This is for you. Bonk! Let's even see if we can elevate cars using this tractor thing. Let's see. Well, that didn't do anything. I guess that doesn't work with cars. I'll just leave that guy alone and go to the countryside. Oh gosh! What just happened? Well, I turned my tractor right over. Let's get it up again. There's even another tractor guy here. We're having a tractor fight. Let's go! Damn! I'm just gonna lose if I keep doing it like that. Now, what can we try to get with the bucket? Let's get inside the barn and try to raise some of this hay. You guys can see that this has a collision, so it's not something that you can go through. Let's try to raise it up. Well, that also didn't work. I'll try that again. Maybe it was just a bug. But this time, let's try with these ones right there. Let's try it out. And yup, it doesn't work at all. I guess the tractor doesn't work for that kind of thing. I actually want to still test some stuff out with the tractor. After we're done with that, we'll go on to the rest of the update. We got that truck from that crazy guy. Let's try to raise it from the back. Dude, stop for a moment. I want to raise your car. Wait, I guess it really doesn't do anything. I'll throw this thing into the pool. I just wanted it to work. It just does the animation. I'm just kidding. It's still a great addition to the game. The other Another vehicle that was added is another farm type one. This update must be to help out those that want a more farming type of RP. So this is the new farmer truck. Let's try to just get some turbo into it. Dude, it works. It goes so damn fast. Bonk! This is so fun. Nice to know that even farmers can have their turbo. We can even change the wheels on it. By the way, this is the best wheel in the game for me. This face is awesome. Let's just annoy someone a bit. Bonk! Actually, can we go on the back of the truck? Looks like we can only go on the end of it. We can even change the suspension of the tires. Look at how high a suspension my truck has now. Can we fly like that? Of course not. We can even get some drift going. Let's get it to the max. Drift is normally what helps us make fast, sharp turns. Oh gosh. Well, you can see how good we drift here on the ground. But that's not the best example. This car also has some different stuff we can carry. There's a button in here that will change what we carry. For now, it's these hay bales, which we can even grab on our hands. I didn't know we could do that. Wait, are you the trash man? There's not even any trash today, my dude. That guy is crazy. Anyway, when we click on it, we'll be carrying corn now. Some nice looking boxes of corn. Dude, are you following me? Leave me alone. If we click on it again, we'll get some pumpkins. Now we can have pumpkins in Brookhaven. 
something that we didn't have before. By the way, they look a lot like the Minecraft ones. Is there anything else we can carry? Oh, some nice pine trees. Another new item for us in Brookhaven. Now can we put it on the ground? Looks like that's a no. Actually, let's go to the countryside and see if we can do that there. Maximum velocity bonk. Holy moly, look at how far we pushed it. Awesome, we're now here in the countryside. So let's try to plant these trees around here. Damn, there really isn't a way to plant them. I guess this doesn't work. I guess it's just for RP. And just so you know, if we click it again, it goes back to the hay bales. I think this one is even cooler than the tractor. Now I got my horse with me so I can show another cool thing about this update. This for sure is one of the coolest things in this update. And that is this new farm style house. Look at how nice this player's house is. Now let's get one for ourselves and I'll show you all that it adds to the game. Let me get a vacant lot. Dude, why don't you put a house on it then? These guys ain't helping. Even in this one there's a bot plot but no house. These players really are just messing with me. Oh, there's one right here. Let's get down from the horse and get that new house for us. Right at the end you'll see the newly added home. You can also see that it has this red border around it which means that it has secret underground. Since that's the case, we'll be having a look at what those are. I got my flashlight since it's pretty dark. Damn, just the front of this place is already so different. I'll even get on my horsey to get him into place. Can we open up the gate? Oh wow, that's so cool. Now we can open the gate for the stable and get our guy inside. He can now stay right there nice and cozy. This for sure is an incredible addition. Let's close the gate up so the horse is safe. Dude, we even have a little corn field in the front. We can even get a box of corn as if we had collected some of our farm. This is really cool. Wait, what's this? Are these other kinds of crops we can have? There's trees, corn, pumpkins, and even some other ones. We even got ourselves a scarecrow to scare out the dang critters. Before we try out the other farms, let's look at a couple of things. We have this water tank on top that we can click on so it spills some water onto ourselves. Maybe wash ourselves a little. That's for sure a very nice addition. Never had something like it. We can even make like we're filling the water bucket for us to then water our crops which is really cool. Let's close that up to not waste it and have a look inside the house. Here we have a bed, some paintings, nice enough already. Here we have a little sofa, a nice TV, so a very nice looking living room. We can wash our hands in the kitchen, which is something you should do. Very important. While you're doing that, leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you drank water today. Here we have a fridge with tons and tons of goodies which are actually pretty bad for your health. We can even light up the fireplace. There are some buttons inside that we can use, like this winter one. What does it do? Wait, did something change outside? Oh wow, there's no more grass on the ground. And all our crops have died. That's so cool. Now, what about the other one? I guess it's just the regular ones with our plants still budding up. That's nice. Oh look, we even have a watering can for us to use. Let's just water our things here. For some reason, there's no water coming out of it. Let's Let's just continue on with our house tour. Here we have a nice enough bathroom. There's even a nice little window in here. Our horsey seems to be liking his little spot, so that's good. Now let's have a look at how much the farm changes. Here in corn we'll see those same crops the house came with. Now what about seedlings? These are the little budding crops we saw last time, which is pretty cute. Let's have a look at the trees. We have a nice little pine tree field. That looks really nice. Now we'll look at the pumpkins. Look at this little patch. We can even take some and give them a little hug. Wait, why is that truck in front of my house? And it's an army vehicle. What do you guys want? They're not coming towards us, so let's leave them alone. Now the last option is dead? Oh, it's for when our crops have died. This guy is just encroaching on my property, so I'll just ban him right quick. You can come in big guy. It's alright, you're totally welcome here. Let's use an item on him then, just so we can can do that. Dude, he just ran away. Well, at least that. Now I don't have to ban him. Our last option is just none. So we have a clean field for our next crops. Do you guys remember when I talked about having something hidden underground? We have to look for a button around this place. 
Maybe it's inside the house itself. We just gotta find out where. Wait, is there something on the roof? I'll have to find a way to get inside there now. Good for us that with a bed we can do just like we want to. We just have to jump onto it. Awesome, we got on the roof. Now, is there something in here? Wait, is there really nothing? I think I wasn't supposed to go in here. So I still have no idea where the safe of this place is. <laughs> Now I'm inside of a private server. Now we'll begin to search for this gosh darn safe where my name isn't Nando. I'll start by making myself smaller and getting the sack. And then trying to just go under the ground right here to see if there's anything. Dude, I still can't get into it. Then we'll have to go back to our old ways. We'll get the shovel. Let's see if this thing can get some ground out of the way for us. This is a very old way to hide things, so I don't know if it'll actually work. Wait, is something here? Dude, we actually did it. Here's where the safe is. I think I know what to do now. I just don't know how to get out. I'm not even sure how this works now. I know how to get in, but not how to get out. Oh, wait. I think I got it. So basically, we need to get the shovel I've been talking about and shovel below the water tank. As we shovel, this part will be teleported right into the place where the safe is. Now for us to get out, we need to do the same thing up in this part of the hole. And that's how you do it. So that's where you can find the safe of this place. Am I good or what? Something new was also added into the prop box. Here we have all the normal props we had before. But as you can see, a last one was added, which is the pine tree. As we click on it, we're able to put down some trees around town. We even have a button to change it to some other ones. It even turns into a little shrub. Then we have another. Then some little corn crops. After that, we have some flowers in a cup. Then we also have a dead bush. After that, it's back to the first tree. So that's our new prop. Another new thing was added, but only for private servers. So remember that it only works on those. It normally costs around 100 Robux to get one. It gives us the ability to use free cam anywhere in Brookhaven. This one is really good for people like me that do recordings or just to watch what others are doing. The only thing is that it's only for private servers, so can't really do that on a public one. I'm on my computer and the command to use this is Shift plus P. Then the free cam is fully usable. On your phone, there'll probably be a button for it, but I'm not really sure how it works. Another cool little addition is that we are also able to get more than four accessories into our character. For example, I use three accessories in my head, which are my hair, the crown, and my earrings. But if I want, I can now put in a lot more than before. So let me get another crown in my head. It's hard to see, but it's there all right. I'll actually just get one that's easier to see. So let me get these hearts just so you can see that we can have lots of stuff on us now. That's something cool to know. That even with these hearts, I can get even more stuff in my character. I'm really liking this new update. Another cool thing that was added has to do with vehicles. As we all know, you can't get more than one vehicle in Brookhaven. But even if we have one, we can still get a horse for ourselves. Since as of this update, the horse isn't considered a vehicle anymore. So that's something cool to keep in mind. So guys, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Trot onto one of the videos on screen right now. They're wonderful. Please leave a like and tell me in the comments what's your favorite thing from the update. Just don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this. Have a good one.